Welcome back, everybody. It's Sport Federation TV. As you know, of course, uh, we talk about sport in the Western Cape. One of the sport codes, uh, and you know we would have spoken to ice hockey recently. They've, in fact, got a world championships coming up. But staying on the ice rink today, we are going to talk a little bit about figure skating. Um, you'll know that we spoke, we looked at figure skating last year. And uh, today we thought we'd speak to one of the athletes and athletes representative, not only for Western Province, but also representing, or at least... Uh, top level in South Africa. I've got Catherine Winstanley on the line with me. Catherine, welcome to Hi, Federation thank TV. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So before I say anything else or ask you about figure skating, congratulations on being the South African national women's senior champion. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. What does that mean? How do you become the national champion? Well, I've been skating my whole life. I'm 24 now. And I say many years of hard work, um, obviously overcoming challenges, spending most days at the ice rink. And yeah, it's been a little bit difficult with COVID over the past couple of years. But for fortunately, we were able to have our um, national championships last year. And yeah. Hard work paid off. I mean, you say it's a lot of hard work. What does that mean? And, and that you have to spend a lot of time on the ice rink. I mean, does that mean yeah. that every night, every day, uh, how many days a week, how many hours? So uh, most of us normally train six days a week. And then it would be around about two to three hours on the ice. And then we also do strength and conditioning training off the ice. And um, ballet and dance are also very helpful. So, so you yeah. supplement your figure skating with other sports as well. I mean, I'm assuming you're going to gym to stay strong. And how does yeah. ballet and dancing tie into figure skating? Well, figure skating is very artistic. You have to be flexible. You have to be expressive. It's it's almost it's almost like ballet on the ice. Yeah. So that definitely helps with with posture, with strength, and then the artistic side, being expressive, being able to interpret the music and perform. So I would say they're very necessary to being a great skater. Do you get to choose your own music? Have you got a favorite playlist? Um, we, we do get to choose our own music. Uh, normally you work with your coach. Often um, your coach will have great ideas, coach or choreographer. So I would say it's, it's definitely a team effort to pick the music. And, and, and the music that you end up choosing for yourself, well, I mean, what sort of genre of music do you pick for yourself? A hip hop or classic or rock and roll? To, uh, to skate to or just in general? No, to skate to. <laughs> um, for skating, I definitely tend to do more lyrical music. Um, that's something I feel like I can relate to. Yeah. Um, I think that that's sort of also classical, um, classical skating music, but definitely people are um, sort of pushing the boundaries and bringing in more, I mean, the odd hip hop song as well yeah. and contemporary. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> So we, of course, watched the Olympics last year and um, very exciting. And oh, did we see? No, of course, we wait for the winter. It was the Winter Olympics, um, figure skating being a Winter Olympic sport. Yeah. So, well, we, all of us at the Ice Rink are super excited to start watching. I know that the figure skating started today at um, these Olympics now in Beijing. Yes. So, yeah, we're all looking forward to watching that. <laughs> Are we going to get to the Olympics at some stage with, uh, with us? How, how are we doing in terms of aiming for, for South Africa athletes in the, the Olympics? Well, I think it's important that we, we all stay positive and, and I think that would be the ultimate goal. If yeah. South Africa could send someone to the Olympics, it would do great things not only for the sport, but for, I would say, winter sports in general. Nobody expects South Africa to send many winter sport athletes. So if if we could develop skating and into being featured in the Winter Olympics more often uh, from South Africa, then that would be great. It, it is challenging. And uh, we had a skater who came close this year. He was able to go to the qualifying competition. Yeah. Um, he did very well, but unfortunately didn't make it. So um, 
but I think we, we've got some promising skaters and we will definitely all keep working towards that. Um, so, of course, uh, everybody is aims at, at getting to the level that you are at in the national side. Um, I know that you guys locally, it's, you, you've, you've got one venue to train at, and that's, of course, the ice rink at Grand West. And, and you have to yeah. share it as well with the ice hockey guys, and you have to share it with the folks that are doing um, casual or social um, um, skating, uh, as it were. Um, but how, so how are we doing from a figure skating point of view in terms of uh, children joining? And uh, I mean, and tell us a little bit about that. Okay, well, we used to have um, some clubs over the weekend, which would allow uh, a lot of sort of new beginners, younger skaters to come and try out and get involved in the sport and grow from there. Since COVID, the clubs had to close down. So that definitely put a strain on bringing in new skaters into the sport. Right. However, I think that the clubs are going to start opening up soon, which will be great. And I mean, thankfully, the public sessions have still been open so people can become exposed to the sport. And we've, we've still been able to train, which has been great. I would say we, we definitely need to, to try and grow our skating community. So the more people that get involved, the better. And we're still, we still a minority sport in the country. So yeah, the, the more people that, that, that can start, the better for us for the future. So how does that work from a club point of view when you say that there are clubs, but there's one ice rink? Um, yeah. Are there different clubs that take different turns? How does that? Uh, yes. Um, they alternate between days. There used to be a club uh, on a Saturday morning, and they would have certain hours allocated to them. And there would be a different club on a Sunday morning with, with certain hours allocated for them. And then... Um, us uh, national skaters, we get certain hours during the week as well. And uh, right. then for, for just figure skating in general, there are certain hours allocated to us. In between is the public skating, then they fit in the hockey. So it's quite, it's quite a jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> um, at which age do children normally sort of sign up? And, and what is it that attracts? Uh, uh, how, do they, how do you guys get attention? Um, you know, it's not as if we drive down the road and and you just walk in and sign up. I mean, figure skating is quite a challenge to recruit new athletes. What is it yeah. that, that gets the, the attention of figure skating and then motivates people to sign up? I think figure skating is, I mean, it's, it's very cool to, to go out and try. So it's, it's definitely not advertised that much. I, I will say, I think we, we need a bit more um, publicity so that people can be like, oh, yes, you know, we, we, we should go try out the ice rink. But um, definitely, I think uh, birthday parties bring in a lot of skaters to the rink. Um, and the Grand West Casino does, does quite a um, good promotion for the ice rink to attract people in. The other element of your um, figure skating role is that you're also the athlete's representative. Um, yes. Now what, how does that, what does that mean for you? Uh, in, in, are you the go between the coach and the athletes or how, how does that work? Well, any um, uh, issues that the athletes have, yeah. um, they will come to me with and then I will take it forward higher in our uh, federation. And any concerns or ideas that I might have, or should I say collectively as athletes that we might have, I can and, and I do present to our federation how they can help us as athletes and um, yeah create better a better environment for us and how we can grow in the future. Catherine, what's your your next big event when are you guys competing again? We uh, well, Western Province has a small provincial uh, at the end of February, right. and then we have an interprovincial competition in Gauteng in March. Okay. And then our big one is the national championships, which is going to happen in May. Great. So the competitions are back on. Skaters yes. are skating. Yes. <laughs> Great stuff. Catherine, we leave it at that. Thanks for joining us. Uh, good luck. And uh, we're looking forward to getting a lot of photographs and a lot of videos so that we can tell everybody to go to, down to Grand West and start figure skating. Awesome. Thank you so much.
there we go, folks. Uh, Catherine Wynn Stanley, um, uh, Western Province figure skater, of course, uh, a senior national champion as well, um, and athletes representative for, for the athletes in Cape Town. If you are interested, just go down to Facebook, I would imagine, and do a little bit of a search there for Western Province figure skating. Go sign up. Get involved. They've, well, as you heard, Catherine said, they're pretty much, they, they're pretty much every day of the week at Grand West. We'll take a break. When we come back, we'll carry on talking sport. Back in a sec.